Hello, and today we're going to have a look at the new Arduino IDE. As you can see, I have a Arduino at Mega here as our demo board. Let's have a look at the entire installation process. So we're just going to search Arduino. So it automatically comes up in search. So you want to find the website that is Arduino.cc. Go at the home process. Then we want to go to the software category. And then you have multiple download options over here. So this is the legacy IDE. And just for information's sake, this is the last time I used Arduino. The one we're going to look at is the Arduino IDE. E, which is currently 2.3.2 we have multiple methods of installation here the one i'm going to choose is the msi installer you can donate to the project if you would like you can give them an email if you'd like i'm going to do none of that we're just going to download the id itself okay it's finished downloading we can open it allow it to run we can actually close our web browser once we started this. Okay, so we just wait for the install to finish. Okay, as soon as the install is finished, it's weird. It doesn't give you like you would normal with a Windows installation. It won't give you the finished window, but it will create a desktop icon for you automatically. So we open that. We greet it with this screen. I'll wait for this to finish to load. Okay, one might want to ask you for network access. You need to allow this, otherwise you won't be able to download anything. Now you can see here on the side, it's now it's downloading additional items. You can see here in the output what it's downloading and what it's installing. So your installation is not quite done. First thing, we want to select the board. Now, if you have a board plugged in and it auto detects it, you can select it from here. Your other option is tools, board. Uh, we're still waiting for it to finish to download, finish downloading all the board files. Yes, we want to allow this. Now we want to install the drivers for all the Arduino boards. You can see it pulling some of the libraries. A lot of these libraries used to be not included by default. I'm happy to see that they are adding some of these as a default. Let's see if the boards are now functional. Okay, now we can see here the Arduino AVR boards, all of them. Usually people will start with an Arduino Uno, which is this one. For my case, I have a Mega or Mega 2560. Mine is actually the 2560 Mega. So you can see it changed over here. If you go into tools again and port, then you can select the serial port that the Arduino is using. So all of that is fine. We check that we can build. You can see compiling sketch at the bottom here. Filing is done it gives you the output so let's go look at some of the settings so we can see here here's preferences i prefer to have minor shelf all files in sketch interface scale theme i prefer dark high contrast so it makes it look like this you can see light high contrast over here plain dark theme i don't like gray comments so and then we have the light theme i'm going to go with a dark high contrast then we have additional options for showing the output i always want to see my compiler output and i want to see my upload output and then you have additional boards url here which has greatly been simplified you have network options if you need to use a proxy or anything like that so this is all great they've moved the library tool to here and one of the newer features that i've seen is they have now the ability to debug now the unfortunate bit is they still don't have support for a picket 4 here for the AVR boards. And they have the search function. So this is based off of Visual Studio Code. And they've new it to Visual Studio Code effectively at the end of the day. So uh, let's have a look at examples. So you got your basic examples. We are going to do the Blink one. Now, if we want to change something in the Blink one, you will see complains it that it's a read only in the editor. So what we want to do is we want to save as, and we'll just call this project test. Unfortunately, they still have this annoying thing that that you open new windows every time but at least it retains your settings between sessions now you still have this pain in the butt that you can't edit it so now you have to go to your test and then click these triple dots and say open folder now in this you have to edit your file properties so you say untick the read only part and then we should be able to edit this file okay still not so we close down the ide and then we open the test folder so while we are waiting for that to open your arduino stuff by default gets put in documents and arduino on windows okay 
So now we can actually edit this sketch file. I'm going to change this to two seconds. So every two seconds it will blink. If we look at the board on the side, you can see it blinking every so often. Camera is just catching up. There we go. You can see the one LED that is blinking. So it was going to be slower now. So go back. And then we just click this verify button and it will start outputting the entire compilation. Nice and fast compilation as well. Then we just click upload you can see the upload output our uploading is done we look at the board itself you can see about every two seconds the one led is now blinking it's the one nearest to the red usb connector okay so we have blinking up and going we can quickly add a communication okay so now we're going to look at the serial terminal we can just go to the examples in the sketchbook communication and then the serial pass through okay just put these next to each other so we want the debug serial we just add that and then at the bottom just add a few new lines for us there and we change this to serial print we add it as a counter and then we just duplicate this line and we want to make this print a variable of i plus plus and an ln and we also need to add the i variable so we just say static int i and we construct that as zero so this will print out counter and then on the new line we will add our i plus plus so we upload that then on the camera itself you should see the two leds light up every now and again okay we can see the tx led is lighting up we can close the other one and now to see the serial output we can go to tools and then we just say serial monitor and we can see about every two seconds we'll see the counter happening unfortunately serial reboot if you open a serial terminal it reboots the mega well, that's fine something else they've changed they added library manager here on the side so if i say something like laura then we have multiple libraries here for it so i'm just going to install this one so it adds it here on the side it's already been downloaded so your libraries are going to be in c user your username documents arduino and then libraries so here's the physical source code for it i'm not going to be using it for now unfortunately they haven't added any functionality so you can add and remove files from your project tree which is silly in my opinion since that that's a default thing in vs code you got your cloud stuff here which i will never use and then you have your board manager which is actually now fantastic if you go usb32 they've added the expressive systems board list here so you no longer need to go to the preferences and add the additional boards over here so you can directly install it from the expressive systems while we install the usb32 board just for demonstration purposes i'm going to go to preferences i forgot about this option editor quick suggestions i do not know why they have this off by default it's very stupid to me since this is your intelligence so once you enable this you get access to the following control space and then all your stuff is there which is i don't know why it's not there since it's standard in almost every other ide we can see the serial monitor still going happily. We are waiting for the boards to install here on the side. I'll be back as soon as the boards are installed. Okay, so the USB 3.2 boards I've installed finished. You can see it here in the output. So if you now go to tools, boards, and then you can see here the USB 3.2 boards, all of them. And just for my interest sake, uh, let's find a dev module. Uh, fairly standard. Uh, this is unfortunate. They are limiting the core upload speed. If you ever struggle with an usb32 drop your board right to 115200 so you can see all the well this is fairly standard that it doesn't make much of a difference from the previous versions something else they added which was much needed is this go to definition so you can actually go and look at the source code now how it works which was a major pain for me in the previous iterations of arduino is that just wasn't the proper ide okay so my opinion still of arduino is it's not suitable for a professional environment excellent for hobbyists and someone that just wants to start getting into microcontroller programming maybe once of tiny little projects I'd still lean towards using Platform IO rather than the Arduino IDE itself. That was a quick look at the new Arduino IDE. If you like the video, please give it a like. A subscribe or a comment is always appreciated. Thank you. Have a nice day.